Hey y'all and welcome to Watch Cheryl Scrap Live for Monday, October 8, 2018. This is our uh, last session for um, Digital Scrapbooking Day 2018 celebrations and it is uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time and um, I'll actually be back scrapping live again tonight. 9 p.m. Eastern for just my regular watch Cheryl scrap, but I'm sure some DSD will bleed over into that. And then like an hour before that um, will be the little gallery love chat where we get to ooh and all over stuff in the gallery, which is fabulous. Which is always so fun. Yes. So today I am scrapping, um, if you were with us last session, I ask like what should I scrap with and um, this is one of the collections that uh, we picked two. I think the other one was Taste of Fall by Becca. Um, yes. But, um, is that right? Taste of Fall. And then um, the, this one is Then and Now by Sarah Gleason and Soko. And I'm going to combine it with some then photos of Daniel, my son, when um, he was wee, wee bitty little, um, five years old, not quite five. He, he was like a month away from turning five. So. Aw, um, says Monica. Yeah, isn't he such a little cute boy? I mean, it, it's terrible. He's just, it's, it's terrible. I just, um, it's hard to see them, uh, grow up, you know? It is. I mean, yeah. But it's, it's fun to get those new stages where, you know, like, I love that he can get his own breakfast now. <laughs> Especially yes. this, this week, he's insisted on being up at, like, 645, and I'm like, I am not a 645 a.m. person. Yeah, so you're like, I'm glad no. he can get his own breakfast now. That makes me happy. I'm done. Yeah, and he so would not uh, be posing for me these days. <laughs> Shannon says her baby is almost 20. Aww. Yeah, my I oldest know. is 21, and he's 13. So, yeah, I'm out of the baby stage. And I do have to say I'm 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 grateful that uh, that's gone. <laughs> yeah, sleep. Sleep is good. <laughs> it's a hard state. Like it's hard. <laughs> yeah. Well you just kept your niece, so you really know. Yeah. Having a baby around again after having my eight year old, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, like no, no. Suzanne says her son hasn't posed for a picture since he was about three. <laughs> Aw, Ophelia, yeah. Her youngest is eight and still thinks she's the world. Mine is, my eight-year-old mostly thinks I'm amazing, but he still some days won't pose for photos. Or he gives the tongue sticking out of every single photo. <laughs> Stop. Oh, Sarah's going to be watching her cousin's two-year-old for a few weeks. Bless your heart. <laughs> it's hard. And it, like, so it's funny because I had those kids over too. I had my friend's kids over for a weekend so her and her husband could get away. And they have a two and a half year old. And oh my gosh, I forgot what how busy they are. Just like, and he's a really good kid. But oh, so busy. Oh, that's sad. He has three older brothers, oldest is 11, and his dad has a brain tumor. Oh, That's hard. Mm, that was very hard. Life is hard. It is. I don't know if I'm going to use that one. Well, hopefully he gets lucky. Like my, my cousin's dad had a brain tumor and ended up living for 22 years after they first diagnosed it. 
So it was a blessing for them to have him so long still. But it, it life is hard. Oh, he isn't doing well. That's no good. Mm. Time flies. That's a cute Time word. flies. But seriously, he I mean he's still funny. He's still the you know the the same kid. It's just it's it's so weird to look back and uh see the the time. <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> All right, school's taking over my brain, Cheryl. I was just oh, about gosh. to say, oh, I like how you're using that half circle repetitiveness through your layout. <laughs> <laughs> yes, tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, stop, make oh, it stop. <laughs> make it stop. Oh. Cheryl, Farrah oh, wants to know if you scrap a page and then turn it into a template or the other way around. Uh, I scrap a page and turn it into a template. Um, but I did recently scrap with a um, template of mine and that I made for the Life Uncensored Daily Bowl. I used, um, used one of my templates for that. But usually the template set springs from um, one layout and then usually the other ones are kind of like variations on a theme so they kind of all kind of go together. And sometimes not. Sometimes they're, they look a little bit different. But. Lou, I love the circles too. Ophelia says her son plays basketball so that's her chance to get photos of him. Your frames are strokes, right? Yes. Are you using your um, shadow styles? Yes. I'm using the shadow styles. Yep. Because um, Liz wants to know how you, when she makes a stroke that large, the corners become rounded. How do you keep your square? I use this style. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. Centered or inside? I, I think that's the difference. It's like, yeah. it's inside or outside. One of them makes kind of more rounded corners and one of them doesn't. Is that right? Something like yeah. that? Yeah, so let me clear this one off. But and yeah, I, I just do sure. It, it has stuff. been so long since I've done it now. Okay. Uh, let's the see. The inside makes square quarters. Oh, God. I don't even know where to go to do a stroke. My brain um, is just on a complete... I always use the little function key at the bottom of the layer panel. That's where I go. Ah, there we go. Because it's faster uh, and I don't have to find it up at top. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <sighs> okay, yeah. So, uh, let's do a... It, yeah, yeah, if you okay. choose... <laughs> Yeah, if you choose inside, that's what's going to give you those sharp corner edges because it's going to eat part of the photo. Does that make any sense as I'm making it bigger? Does that help, Liz? Coming in. Ooh, that's kind of cool. The black frame. <laughs> she says yes. <laughs> Oh. Suzanne okay. uses PSC and it's in edit. Oh, the stroke thing. Yeah. Yeah. I I think that is where it is, but I just always just go down to the little FX at the bottom because it's easy and it's there. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, there it is. I didn't mean to call it function, but <laughs> <laughs> the effects. FX. The FX. The FX. Okay, I like. Oh. Or you could just buy Cheryl's shadow style. Yeah. And it's like... one click. Oop. Oop. 
one click you get your stroke and you get a shadow too. Yeah, okay. exactly. And all the other ones that are in there. But you know, <laughs> we'll start with that. <laughs> oh, it's funny though. Once you get going on certain things, it's hard to remember how you do them. It is. I mean, if I do something a lot, then I'm, um, I've been doing this a lot too, where I put um, papers to the <laughs> left of the page. Isn't that funny how you like tend to go to the same compositions over and over again? It's like, <laughs> why am I doing this? I think I've done this a lot recently. Maybe I should try yeah. a different composition. <laughs> but I'm going to go with what feels good. So this feels good. No, Y'all do that not too? The going. Not at all. It's habit. I think it it means your brain actually stopped working because it's just like your muscle memory going. It, Kim it's says disappearing. She tries to break the habit, but it's hard. Ooh, that's a good thought. Suzanne says that's why she likes using templates because they get her away from doing the same thing all the time. Yes. That is true. This is the truth. I think that's why I like watching Cheryl scrap, because then I will go, oh, I should try a layout similar to that next time. Of course, if it's a template, I can just buy it. But if it's not, <laughs> see, because I kind of want to try, like, this five photo thing now. I have a bunch of five photo, four photo, all clustered together. Yep. I like, I like it. I might just have to do Suzanne's and go into your templates and find a new one to use. I think I think there's quite a few of them in the grab bag. This, there this are a lot of fun templates in the grab bag. There's a there's a lot. There's a lot. Ooh, another circle element. I, I don't think it's gonna happen, but. You know, I'm so yeah. drawn to the doily. Yeah, I know. But you like doilies. I do like the doily. Isn't that funny how we do? She struggles with only one photo because she almost always uses lots of photos. So I do too, and it's funny because I'm more of a lot of photo scrapper, but I found that sometimes I'm like, you know what, I just want this one photo to stand out. And especially when I'm going back to like some of my film photos or my early photos where I didn't take 20 different photos. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot easier for me to go, you know what? This one is really the best of this group. So it, right. so I, I do end up using one photo and that's why, that's how I end up doing it. Yeah. That's not staying yeah. there. Suzanne says the clustered photos, she likes those because it's an easy way to make sure they're the focal point. I totally agree with that. That's it is an easy way to make sure they're the focal point. <laughs> Kim says her pocket style pages are photo heavy. Her traditional pages are more minimalist. <laughs> like, well, as do you do your thing. You do you, boo. Yep. Shannon always has a ton of photos. Thank you. Okay, so when you put a ton of photos on your page, do you have a size you like to keep above? Like me, I I don't like to go smaller. Like the two by twos, they look okay, but I hate having a whole lot of two by twos on my pages. <laughs> I'm weird that way. Well, I, guess I just want to be able to see them. Like when I printed recently, um, I I didn't mind the I didn't mind them, the two by twos. Mm -hmm. Um, because they're not as small as you think. Right. Well, I've but drawn I'm... it out for myself with a ruler. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm that person. <laughs> You're like, I need to see. I need to see. Like, I need to see how big this actually looks in person. But then I see sometimes people will do like little like, they've got to be one and a half or one by one. And I'm like, those are just too tiny. 
Shannon prints 10 by 10 or 12 by 12, so she doesn't mind small photos. Yeah, I, I printed the uh, Shutterfly Premium Lay Flat. The pages are gorgeous, thick, and I love how big everything is because as, <laughs> as I'm getting older, it's like seems like I have a harder and harder time seeing. So I appreciate. I have printed a lot in 8x8, Kim. But usually it's um, like a random set of pages. Like I'll do those random, when they do the free Shutterfly books for just shipping, I'll do a random 20 layouts that I've done with my kids' photos, and I'll print them out and give it to him because he likes it. So Lou prints 12 by 12. So their unlimited pages is actually usually 8 by 8, but you can usually upgrade to the 10 by 10. Isn't that what you did, Cheryl? Wasn't it an unlimited page and you just did the upgrades on the book? Um, I did 12 by 12 and I don't remember having to upgrade. I thought it was just, it didn't matter. It was unlimited pages, whatever option you chose. Maybe it was an upgrade. It oh. was an upgrade. It was an upgrade. Yeah. Now that I think about it. Yeah. Because I think they but, start you off at the 8x8, but you can upgrade it to the, yeah, to the 12x12 12 12 or the 10x10. 10 10. You can actually do that with their yeah. free Shutterfly books, too, if you guys didn't know that. You can pay yeah. the difference in price, and they'll credit you the free 8x8, 8 8, and then you just are paying the difference to be a 10x10 10 10 or 12x12. 12 12. Was it expensive to upgrade? Do you remember? I know the lay flat part gets pretty expensive. Um, I printed... Uh, it was I think one was 80 something pages and the other one was a hundred um, and they were both under a hundred dollars um, I posted about it in the forum I can't remember now if you search for that there's a post that I made in there about how many pages it was and then because I, I used a free shipping coupon because we were talking about stacking coupons, I think was the yes. was yep. the thing. So they um, actually seem to be doing unlimited pages about every six weeks. Yeah, Liz, she says they just had the unlimited pages, no sp size specified. Yeah, between every four to six weeks, it seems like they have a new one. Yeah. So I need it again, too. So I'm hoping, I've been scanning all my mother-in-law's photos. And so I'm hoping to get them all ready to go so that when they do the next one, I can put them all in a book. And I'm hoping it's enough before Christmas that I can just send it to her. But if not, right. I guess I'll have to pay for it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm just going to send this to you. See, the ones I get will say 8x8 eight eight or 10x10, ten ten, but if you go in and actually go through it, it has always let me upgrade. So I don't know if they're just starting off by advertising the size because they're putting a specific price on it, like, or what. But I do know that right. it's always let me upgrade. Like, the free photo books I've gotten, all those things will let me upgrade. So, it is good to know. Um... Yeah, Kim, the individual pages, 8 by 8 I actually am someday going to finish my son's, you know, first year book. He's only 8. I've got time. And that will be 8 by 8 for him, just because it's easier for his little hands to handle. But as far as, like, our family books, I prefer them at 10 by 10 just because they're a little bit bigger without taking up too much room, and so they're still easy to handle. But, yeah. Lou gets books cheap in France, but has to wait until they go there to get books. <laughs> and me, I read that and go, oh, oh, you have to wait to go to France, man. <laughs> I would love to have to wait to go to France, like knowing it's on my journey trip. <laughs> but I know what you mean. That can be hard. <laughs> oh, what a shame. Having to wait go to Liz France. Is try. Costco has the 12 by 12 30 page lay flat books for $40. I used to print with Costco when I printed prints and honestly it just depended on my my Costco. 
Like one Costco printed really nicely and one of them didn't. And I don't know if their photo books come from the same spot or if they're different. I like Blurb, but I've never printed a photo book with them. I always print other books with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even turning off auto corrections, the one that we used, they, um, it was like all of their photos had a red tint to them. No matter what, like I printed the same photo with autocorrection and without, and it still was like this weird, like like a pink tint or something. And I read before that it's sometimes they calibrate them themselves and that can make them off or whatever, but no big deal. Cheryl, are you in Escambia County? I am in Santa Rosa County, which is right next, next to Escambia County. Um... Kelly's cousin just posted that the schools are having early release Tuesday and no school Wednesday. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Somebody go, somebody go search for Santa Rosa County. <laughs> 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 I'm scrapping right now. I would, I would go look myself. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and Blurb has a 420 page max. In case you wondered. Well, I have to, that's going to be a Flight heavy is. book. That, that would be a heavy book. How many pages? Yeah. How many did you 420. God, because my books are heavy. I yeah. like persnickety for single prints. I love Oh, like, yes. I have not found anybody. Even the books I've printed from Blurb or from Shutterfly, persnickety's quality is so much better. But, yeah, they do seem kind of expensive. They had their sale, I think it ends today, for the $1.49 $1 prints. Yeah. And to me, that's still, it's still better than... Um, when I used to paper scrap and how much it would cost. <laughs> right. So, you know, from that perspective. I'm gonna throw that under, I think. Farah has one that she maxed out and it's so heavy. Yeah, 111 is the max that showed a fly for an 8x8. I think it's the same for a 10x10. Because I did a 10x10 10 10 and I, I want to say that sounds about right. Bev just used Persnickety and she loves it. Liz did some lay flat ones from mix books. The books are so heavy. You know, I have a lay flat one, and it's funny because it's really, it's from Adorama. You want to talk expensive, Adorama is expensive. But I had like a free coupon or something, and it's only a 20-page book, but it is thicker than some of my Shutterfly ones, and it's thicker than one of my Blurb ones. And I really don't like it. <laughs> yeah. You're like, like no, I wish I liked care it more for than this. Did. Nope, I find it to be just, it's a little too thick, and I keep thinking I skip pages because it's so, it's so thick. But oh, I, I you know what, love... Rudy, just point out to him how thick paper would be if you were doing paper instead of digital. Yep. Oh, we don't worry about spelling. <laughs> If I can figure out the word, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> so we used to, um, yeah, you have paper and they're massive. So we move, and we've moved a lot. And the last time I moved, um, we were moving from Massachusetts to Utah, and my husband was like, I'm so glad you switched to digital because these paper ones are super heavy. Can we get rid of them somehow? Like, and so uh, the next time we moved, I had scanned a bunch of them and gotten rid of the papers themselves. And so he was like, oh, these are so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much better. So much better. These books, he's like, these books move so much easier. You don't have to have three people lifting them. <laughs> it's so true. So you can get a free first album at, is it Zeno? Zeno? 
Huh, she says it's amazing, but their sales are not as good. Hmm. Yeah, I have one, and I can't think of the name off the top of my head, so I'm not going to say the name because I'll probably mess it up. But I got one of their free ones, and it was such a low-quality book. Like, all the colors are off. And I didn't use any autocorrections or anything, but they're off so bad. I, I reprinted it, and I refused to ever go back to them. And I see their sales all the time, and I'm like, nope. Won't do it. Nope, not going there. Not doing it. No. Luckily, it was just an ABC book for my son, so it was really no big deal. But I know it wasn't Zeno. So, Adorama just had a sale on the Canon Printer Pro. Oh, wow. Farrah's excited to print plan printer planner stuff. It's the worst one to because I'm like, okay, if I got one from Shutterfly at this point and it was a bad quality, it'd be like, okay, I'm going to contact them and have them send me a new one. But I mean, this is a company that I don't know that they have a better product than this. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know that, like, if they offered to reprint it, I don't know that it's going to come out any better. <laughs> You're like, I'm not going to take a chance. Pretty much. On it again. Yeah. I was going to tell you, Jagruti said her husband says the house is going to sink with all of Nolan's books in her scrapbooks. <laughs> <laughs> like I do movie. have to say that I'm kind of like that about um, things on the wall, hanging pictures and stuff. And so my husband's like, you know, are you going to start putting things on the ceiling next? And I'm like, oh, that's an option. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And he was like, oh my god, I didn't mean to give you an idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I wasn't trying to tell you something. I do not see anything about your your city schools yet. Just so you know. <sighs> not surprised. September, but not right now. Yeah, the kit she's using has great words. It's now and then. Is that right? Yep. It's a collab with Sarah Gleason and Soko. Designed by Soko, I think. Yep. Isn't that it? Designed by Designed Soko. Designed by Soko and Sarah Gleason. Ophelia says she has a lot she needs to print. <laughs> we figured out Cheryl's printed about 10% of her layouts last time. So. <laughs> yeah, because... What I have like four thousand layouts, and you printed Urgh. like four hundred. <laughs> yeah, it's like erg. It's so really bad. Too horrible. I'll make you feel better about about your situation. <laughs> Kim needs to do a new batch for Persnickety. Like I said, their sale ends today. You can buy print credits. It is a big number, isn't it? That's what I was shocked at. I was like, that's huge. We got to comparing stashes and the amount of layouts we had <laughs> last week. It was yes. really random. <laughs> it was. It was very random. You only have 27? Oh, come on. You need more than that. <laughs> I still have 27. She's got 27 print credits left. Like, I think I have, like, 40 or 50 sitting there because I get them and then I forget to use them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. i got to work on that. I like how it's coming along. I'm working on my shadows now. I know. Can you believe it? Yes. Can you believe it? I haven't really been, like, talking a lot, though, so. Yeah. You know how Renee I get distracted. 250. She hasn't printed for a while. Oh, you have 100 uploaded. Just print! <laughs> <laughs> Kim doesn't do a lot of pages that aren't for her photo books. Um, so I have these really cool frames that I don't even know if they're available anymore, but they are, like, four specifically hanging up scrapbook layouts, so they're 12 by 12. And uh -huh. so I I change them out, Kim. So that's why I have. And then I'll randomly hang up um, layouts in my son's room. 
So we hang, like, and most people, you know, print pictures to hang up in their kids' rooms. I print layouts to hang up in my son's room. Yeah, so that's I have. I end up doing individual ones. I have uh, four frames at Hobby Lobby. Ooh, sweet. Yep, that's where mine yeah. came from. Well, these and are dying, so there are four of them above my desk. I don't know why Creative Cloud has been doing this lately. Doing what? Um. It'll say, I couldn't move this because of a program error. And then I can't pull anything into onto the canvas. It's just like, it's done. Yeah. So, it um, is probably your memory. Time for a new computer. Yep. Or just to upgrade your memory. Um, you can also go in. I had to do that once. You had to go, I had to go in and tweak. It was when I was on the laptop. Tweak how much memory it's allowed to use or something like that. Yes. Yeah. And that was, that fixed that problem. But yeah, it's basically, it's a Photoshop runs out of memory kind of thing. Something like that. Do, do, do. Which it shouldn't do. This one's only a couple of years old, but it's time. I'm very hard on my computers, I have to say. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I'm like, most people, are t they talk about their EHDs and their external drives last for so long. And I'm like, yeah, I'm way too hard on them. <laughs> if yeah. I get two years, three years out of them, I'm lucky. <laughs> Ophelia says when Photoshop does weird stuff like that, she switches back to GIMP. <laughs> Dude, oh, but Kim, how exciting, though. I wish I had done Project Life back when it was just like me and my husband and we thought our life was boring. Because we did a whole lot more than I thought. Liz is still working on 2017. Oh, that would be nice. I still have yeah. pictures from 2011. <laughs> I'm in 2010, people. I'm, I'm, wait, I, there are so much that has not been scrapped. It is ridiculous. Yeah. I, I was ta just talking to Courtney and telling her, um, I was like, I'm overwhelmed. Sometimes it happens when I'm looking through photos. I'm like, geez Louise. How do I have this many photos? I'll, yeah. I'll never get through where you and you just feel like paralyzed. You're like I, I don't I don't know where to start. Yeah, I'm See, trying and I'm like, to find. Yeah. I jump around quite a bit. It just depends I'm on my mood. Find. You know what though? You could do so. Somebody else, and I can't think of who it is. If it's Tracy or somebody else, does instead of doing like a week at a time, she just does the days as they come. So, you know, it may be that she documents for every day. It may be that she just documents for two or three days out of the week. But it's very relaxed, and it makes it so that she can still see kind of the normal pattern of their days, but it's not dictated by, you will do this week, you will do that week. <laughs> Beth says she's in 2018, but she has a 20-year gap from 78 to 98. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, it is Tracy. Thanks, Sarah. Tracy documents by the flow of photos, not by a weekly spread. It is. And you know what? I've seen other, um, like, single girls do that, or single single women, sorry, do that. And I think it's really cool because you can kind of see what's going on. Like, right. I would have no idea how to pronounce her name, but her, her username is, like, N-G-O-C or something like that. And she does... Hers, like, she seems to be, she seems to be single, and I can never read her journaling because, you know. Yeah, it's N-G-O-C, and then I think it's Wynn, N-G-U-Y-E-N. But she does, um, when she posts her Project Life in the gallery, it's like her and her friends getting together and stuff. And it's actually really cool to go see. Okay, let's try to open that up again, shall we? Renee spent the last few weeks sorting actual photos, and they're now all in one place and organized. That's awesome. And she's going through and sorting out Pepper and Paige dog pictures. Aww. Okay, so Bev, I used to say that my those gaps had to be traditional, but I realize I'm going to get it done digitally before I ever get it done traditional, and that's why I started doing it the way that yeah. I... Like scanning them all in and stuff. 
excuse me, sorry. And sometimes I don't even scan them in. I just like take a picture of them and use them that way. So it works. Yeah, she started the, Tracy started the flow idea because some of her weeks are boring and others are packed. And especially when she's got family members going here and there and everywhere, it's easier to do like a two-week spread for everybody going everywhere and then like a one-week when there's nobody going anywhere and doing anything. So uh, do y'all want to see me do custom shadows or do we want to look at Lightroom and talk about photos? I hope you make it back, Farah. Have a good day. Bye, Farah. Renee is itching to do some traditional scrapping. Kim votes for Lightroom. And Cheryl, <laughs> and she wants to know, for your layouts in Lightroom, how do you sort them? <laughs> oh, yeah. votes for Lightroom. OK. All right, well, let me oh. close this out. No, you're fine, Sarah. I was talking for Tracy, too. And most of what she said has been in um, the forum, too. So there are places you can find it. Uh, Monica votes for Lightroom. <laughs> Liz says her brain departs when Lightroom is discussed. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. I actually find it does really good at getting my layouts in order or my pictures in order and ready to scrap and organized and I really don't use it um to its full capability still. Ouch, whatever. Using something to its full capability is overrated. <laughs> I'm like I'm always finding some other little shortcut or um, usually talking to someone else and they're like, why are you doing it that way? Why don't you do it this way? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> a newer, quicker way. New and improved. Well, I am going to grab, we have a little present for you who've come. So if you are not into watching Cheryl play in Lightroom. Thanks for coming. <laughs> let me get you a let me get yes. you your little coupon first before you go. So there it is with all of the fine print. It will not work today. It won't start working till tomorrow. Use it for this week. Two dollars off anything and there's the code by itself if you just need the code. She's Thanks, still scrapping. Who's still scrapping? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> scrap, You're like, yeah. who? What? What? Who's still scrapping? Who? Who? What? Um, what? I who? do not think you can use multiple coupons in one transaction. I think that's a limitation on the system. Is that correct, Cheryl? Do you remember? I don't know. Yeah, Bev thinks it's just one, too. So, <laughs> so sad, just one. Monica says, yep. <laughs> okay, well, they all think it's the same, so I feel pretty accurate then. <laughs> You're like, this is what it is. Okay, I, I'm going to say the issue is with Adobe Connect because... It's taking forever. Oh, yeah, it is. It could be. Huh. Adobe be like, why you got everything open at once from our program? Well, all I have is Adobe Connect open, and I'm trying to open up Lightroom, and it's like having a fit. Yeah. There are only 100,000 photos in there. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know what the problem is. I don't have this issue, and I have 100,000 photos. <laughs> like, seriously? Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> Kim says, wowza. <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, goodness. Come on. Well, we were going to talk about Lightroom, but... Uh... If you're playing bingo... 
and you came to get your screenshot, make sure you grab your screenshot if you need a live game or live chat. I'm trying to remember to remind Thank people. <laughs> You know, oh, I put totally it fried. into Lightroom, Kim, just because it's easier for me to go through and get there rid of them. Go. Like, you can use that cool little side-by-side -side and compare them, so I can go, oh, I really like this one. Okay, delete that one, delete that one, delete that one, just depending on which ones I like the best. So, <laughs> it makes it easier for me to go through them all and stuff. It's possible. You can try using multiple codes, but I want to say that it doesn't work. And that's why, like, I, I would rather tell you guys it doesn't work and have you try it and find out it does than have you try it and be disappointed. So yeah. if it works, that's awesome, Liz. But I honestly, I want to say the last time I tried that we somebody tried it, it didn't work. So if you move a photo from one folder to another do you lose your Lightroom info not if you do it inside Lightroom yeah technically you don't lose it anyway but then you have to tell Lightroom where to go find it and it's a real pain in the butt so as long as you move it inside Lightroom Lightroom's like oh yeah I know where you moved that to it's like a library yeah. that's the way I think of it is it's like a library catalog so if and I pick up the book and I move it to another shelf then when the next person comes to the catalog, the catalog says, no, it's over here. And then they can't find it. But if I move it in the catalog, then, and so I moved it inside the computer too, then they'd be like, oh yeah, I can find it. You just moved it to the shelf. And I don't know why, but that just makes sense to my brain that it's like a library. Come on. Huh, really I didn't realize you need to move me. Nexus fonts within the software, Lou. I use that too, and I move stuff all the time without checking. <laughs> I just click the folder, and it seems to reload them all. <laughs> I didn't know to move them within the software, but that makes sense. <laughs> Otherwise, you lose the tags. Well, that would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, there we go, finally. Good grief. Okay, so my layouts. Um, I have them saved in, um, you know, File Explorer, which I guess we should go there while we're waiting for this stupid thing to load. Do, 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 do. Okay, so, um, I save in uh, a folder called Layouts, and then each year of course has a folder and I don't I put the layouts in there not when I scrapped them but by the date on the photos so um let's let's just do 2017 um so inside of that I have our calendar that I did and then I have my December daily for 2017 so I can quickly grab that particular one it's just something I work on um, and then I have a an Excel spreadsheet that um, kind of track what um, what I've scrapped but I also um, mark photos that I've scrapped I use the color feature in um, Lightroom. So these are the pictures that I just scrapped with y'all and they are marked purple. And that was like life changing for me when Cheryl taught me that, by the way, just in case you guys wondered. Because yeah. now if I scrap a photo a second time, it's intentional and not because I forgot yeah. that I scrapped it the first time. So um, do you want to show how you so do that? Yes, um, I usually just uh, like say these here, I want, I've scrapped these four. I just um, shift click to select all of them and then right click. And if you come down to about the little fourth section, I guess, fourth or fifth, it's set color label. 
and it's red, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then none. But I changed mine to have a custom name, which I don't recommend. Just leave the colors there. Um, but purple is scrapped. So I just um, then click on that, and there they are. Um, you can also put it on the uh, bar at the bottom. Did you know that? That's where mine is. Yes, down <laughs> on this little bar. Yep. I just put the yep. color down there so I can just click it as I go. Yeah. So, um, yeah, click there, click there, and then your colors are there. Kim says CC doesn't have that. I'm not sure. I opened CC and I did not like it and I have not opened it again. I've stuck with class. Yeah. This is classic CC is what they call it. <laughs> Kim says she's not a fan of CC. Yeah. Can you go back so, to classic? Yeah. Because I know so, my, my Adobe offers me both options still. But I don't know. <laughs> no. I haven't looked that far into it. Okay, so layouts. Do, 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 do. Here is what I've done for 2017. And what I like about this is that um, it does preview the PSDs. So I can actually see what I'm going to print. Does that make any sense? And if you're a Blurb fan, there is still, isn't there still an add on or something that will print it straight to Blurb? So yes. Yeah, it's, I think I have that one, or I did. I think it's up in book or something, up at the top of the screen. Oh, yeah. It's been a while since I've done it. I've been using Shutterfly. Anyway, just because I know we talked about Blurb earlier. <sighs> just yeah, that's how Cheryl sees all her layouts. Yep. And then you can send, and I think I went over that. Yeah, it sends the book directly to Blurb. I went over that in our... In the WOW to yeah. Workflow to WOW or whatever. Yeah. Thanks for coming, Bev. Thank you, Monica. We are back and tonight. 6 Pacific, yeah. 9 Eastern. And right after see the Gallery else. Love with Laura and Sarah and Cheryl. Which you should come to if you can. Gotcha, Kim. Uh, do, do, do. So, um, like if I wanted to print just um, layouts with Olivia, because I saved my layouts by the title of the layout and then who's in the photo and then the date so i can go to text and i can search um file name and then i can type in olivia and it will automatically sort those so i can see these are all layouts that olivia's in from that year <laughs> Lou really likes the double pages you have with the big photo on one side. She says she's going to steal that idea. Oh, these. Um, that's actually a calendar. No, I think like, you know, when you do, sometimes you do your Disney stuff, you'll do one big Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then a couple gotcha. of the littler ones on the right. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. And glad you learned a few things, Liz. That's part of our goal. <laughs> but watch and learn and laugh was just too long. So that's why we stuck <laughs> to watch Cheryl scrap. <laughs> uh, I did do a lot of printing. Dee, 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 dee. And uh, let's see. 2012. And those are marked in red. Um. I did an album for, 
yeah, so I know what's been printed already. So um, Olivia and Daniel's is green, and uh, Daniel has an album that I'd already printed for a birthday, I think, and that's blue, and then Jay and I's are, it's red. If I've printed those, so it's easy to see. Okay, I already printed that. She was talking about the calendar. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I was like, yeah. oh, oops. We're good then. Yeah. And that was a little butterfly. Um, templates. There's a calendar. So. I don't know if it's a challenge, but um, NBK has one in the designer challenges forum where she's giving you a free calendar that you can use to scrap a, cal a page a week because there's 12 weeks till the end of the year or till Christmas, one of the two. I can't remember. I read it really fastly. But if you were looking at doing a calendar with a whole lot of people, that might be a way yeah. to do it. Definitely. They do make great gifts. We did not do ours for last year. Um, yeah. Oh, well, we're bad, bad people. I'm like, oh boy, I forgot about some of these layouts. Twelve weeks before Christmas. Yes. And if you want to join in the challenge part, then just do 75% of MBK designs. And for those of you who English is not your primary language, English, German, Dutch, French is what the calendar options are in. So that's pretty cool. So, um, but to go back to the color thing, so not only do I mark them scrapped here in uh, Lightroom, um, so I can quickly see when I'm just going through here what I scrapped and what I haven't, I also have the Excel sheet, and it will show me, because that was the beginning of January, the layouts that I've done. That was, what date? 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's 18. Sorry, got the wrong, wrong one open. <laughs> Uh, it always helps, doesn't it? Okay, so 1-1 one, one of 17 um, is Daniel with this happy little cupcake. And I have the little thumbnail. Um, and then I just uh, gray out the whole line so I know that particular day is done. So when I'm ready to do um, printing, I know what, you know what needs to be done and what doesn't. That was a hot chocolate. Was that a Disney hot chocolate or is that a homemade hot chocolate? No, that's a homemade hot chocolate. And my daughter gave me um, a new cup, so I had to make. You had to make chocolate. hot chocolate and take pictures. Yep, yep. Yes, she Cheryl had her Excel sheet in the forum. I don't know if it still is. On how she uh, keeps track of everything. Let me run look real quick because I may have deleted it out of Dropbox. Let's see. No, it's still in there. It's still in there. Hang on, let me grab you a link. In case you want to check it out and get some ideas. Renee said she saw it earlier this year and she set one up for herself like that. Liz does a calendar every year with birthdays. That's awesome. Oh, man. Michelle thought it was at 2 p.m. today, not 1. <laughs> Mike, what time was it? <laughs> oh, bummer. Uh, She's recording it, I think. Or did you not record it today? I did record it. 
We did. It's, it's still recording. Yep. It's yeah, still recording. It. Yep. The one tonight is 6 Pacific, 9 Eastern, right after the Gallery Love. Which is at 5 and 8. <laughs> and if you have a different time zone, sorry. <laughs> All hey, right. Did you grab my groceries, too, so I don't have to go to the store? Thanks. <laughs> Oop. Oop, hang on. This is from the superintendent of schools. Let's see what he says. Bye, Lou. Thanks for coming. Ooh, finish the scavenger hunt. Good luck with that. Thanks for coming, Lou. Ooh, one more box. What box is it, Kim? One more layout. You can do it. You can do it! Woohoo! I'll cheer you on! Woohoo! Liz has a few easy things. Use the collab. Ooh. I like the collab. I found it really easy to use. <laughs> I hope you do too. You could always do like a now and then, like a yesterday or today or tomorrow with Disney photos. Because you could do like one of your first visits and one of your more recent vid visits. I mean, I know it's not the same type of colors, but it'd be kind of fun. See, 91 90, or 93, that would be totally cool because I know it's changed a lot. It's changed a lot since I've been there, like 2000. Okay, so we're out half day tomorrow and Wednesday is closed. I know, That's... Cheryl was grabbing one and I can't remember how old it was and that was exactly our thought too. Um, Disney and how much it's changed over the years because she needs to do yeah. one with the collab so I suggested that Bye Suzanne, thanks for scrapping and chatting with us I have not I will have to go look for that Michelle Okay Alright I'm going to I'm going to turn off the little recording I think I'm done here